there's so many different facets and aspects to racism that impact on the daily lives of people of colour, but especially black people. Hi, it's Monroe Bergdorf. What I really want people to recognise when talking about racism is that it isn't always about insults. It isn't always about calling people names or moments of aggression. Racism is a system of oppression that feeds into the police, that feeds into the education system, the healthcare system, the housing system, communal wealth, mental health, poverty. There's so many different facets and aspects to racism that impact on the daily lives of people of colour, but especially black people. In order to counteract this, we need to educate ourselves. We need to listen to each other. We need to celebrate difference in a way that doesn't run away from it, you know? So many times I've heard people say, oh, I don't see colour, or, you know, we're all the same. We're not the same. And we don't need to be the same. It's beautiful that we're all different. It's beautiful that we've all got different experiences. But in that, we need to listen and we need to acknowledge each other's oppression, each other's experiences. We need to be there for each other as, as allies. We need to take the initiative to educate ourselves instead of just, you know, expecting people to educate us. I don't experience Islamophobia, I don't experience anti-Semitism, I don't experience ableism. So that makes me a privileged person insofar as I can be an ally to those communities. Racism is more than just what black people experience, so black people need to be there for other communities that experience racism or systemic injustice. So it's a very nuanced conversation. It isn't just about what you call somebody, if you are going to call somebody a racist name. It's about the system that that feeds into. It's about the holistic experience of that person of colour.